Welcome to On The Move. Hey everybody, this is Mac with On The Move. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Everly Stock Gunslinger 2. Alright, so let's get right to it. Take a look at the outside of the bag here. See all the molly that they have. Uh, they have a big pouch up top here and a little smaller pouch right here. If you open up this pouch right here, this one is designed for, it looks like sunglasses to be put inside there. It has some padding right here in the back um, and a little bit of padding right here. I don't think that I would use that for sunglasses though. Uh, I'd be too concerned with dropping my bag on them and breaking them. So, But it has a little seal right here. looks like it's rubberized and uh, yeah, it's, it's designed to keep some water out of there I guess. But that'd be a good place, I guess, you could put, like, for your electronic devices, if you had, like, a cell phone or something, that'd be a good area for it, I guess. And, um, let's see. This big pouch up here. Again, uh, Everly Stock, they use these, uh, these zippers that I like. They got these, I'll bring it up real close to the camera so you can see. They got these little plastic, uh, uh, zippers here. I don't know if you can hear me. It's hard, uh, hard plastic, so... It makes it so it stays open like that. You can easily get the zipper and like the all Everly Stock backpacks that I've seen, uh, the zippers are real smooth and put together real well. Also the stitching uh, looks like it's solid stitching. Everything looks uh, like it's stitched real well and it looks pretty strong. So anyway, let's open up this pack here, this pouch here. It has a lot of room as you can see, a lot of room to, to put stuff in there and it's got a few pouches on the inside here. Looks like these pouches were designed for maybe M4 mags, AR-15 mags. It's got a zipper pouch again, got the zipper, the little tip thing on them that I like. And you can store more stuff in there. And the zippers have a little rain flap for it to keep the rain out of them. So I like that, they really thought real well about how to do that. They got molly on the outside of this so you can attach more pouches to it. And again, this is the bottom, this is the top. If you look on the side, there's more molly. They got this little pouch down at the bottom here, which I'm guessing is for if you had a side scabbard, you could tuck it right into there so it gets more stability and it's not just hanging off this right here. You can actually have it tucked in the side. The sides have these carry handles, so if you're handing your bag off to somebody who, who maybe you're trying to climb up something and trying to hand your bag off to somebody you can hand it from this and whoever you're handing it to can grab it from the top handle these carrying handles are sewn in there really well they feel really sturdy they also have like feels like something hard maybe I don't know some kind of foam in here that uh, is you know keeps its form right there so it's not just flapping around uh, I like that it's pretty cool alright now to why you should pick Everly Stock backpacks, and this is just any of their backpacks that they have. They all have a, basically the same uniform padding uh, with all of them. One thing I noticed different about this bag is that these pads right here, they didn't feel as thick as my uh, Everly Stock Warhammer. I did a review on the Warhammer, by the way. If you guys are interested, uh, check out my other videos, um, and, and you can see what I said about that. But uh, these don't really feel quite as thick as that, but when I put this bag on, it, uh, it actually was really comfortable for me. Um, I'm an average frame person, so when I put this on there, uh, the, the kidney belts actually took a lot of that weight off my shoulders and put it onto my hips, which uh, is what happened with the Everly Stock Warhammer. Uh, the Gunslinger 2 has the same pad here that the Warhammer has. This pad is awesome. It makes it feel amazing on your back. These, uh, this padding right here makes it all feel really good on your back. Um, the one comment that I would say uh, negative about this bag is that if you're a uh, bigger frame uh, person, uh, I borrowed this bag from a buddy of mine and he's a lot wider than I am. He's got uh, much wider shoulders and uh, this he, he complained that this was actually digging into him, these uh, pads right here. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like there's a ton of padding right there. And then also, the way it's stitched in here, it's this is just material. This is like a, a synthetic kind of material. There's no real padding in that. So he was saying that this stuff dug into him in this area right here. And one way that he fixed that was he got 
uh, uh, sling uh, pads. So he took pads that were made to go for weapon slings and he actually uh, topped this part off, which again, this is a really cool feature. Uh, they got these quick detachable uh, clips right here. So if you're, you have this bag on your shoulders and you want to get it off real quick, you just pop this little clip and boom, the, it falls right off your back. So that's pretty cool. But he took that and he slid those uh, weapon sling pads right there and he said that fixed the problem. So easy fix. I think that's a very minimal problem. Uh, I would still recommend this bag, uh, but we'll get to that in a second. So anyway, uh, as far as uh, this scabbard is concerned, uh, the scabbard goes down in here and as you can see it goes down pretty far because it goes down the whole length of the bag. Uh, and I got had this whole uh, machete in there. So anyway, the uh, scabbard goes all the way down through there and it's got these little clips here. I'm assuming these are for weapon retention so if your bag goes upside down or something your weapon doesn't fall out. So that's pretty neat. I like that. And then if you look on the other side here, this thing it's meant to be clipped right here to restrain the scabbard. Pop it open and that falls out of there. So your whole weapon can be inside the bag. They make covers for this to, for like rain cover purposes and uh, that way your, your weapon can be concealed and it's uh, out of the elements as well. I think that's pretty cool. They got this zipper here and so you can access the bottom of this pouch here and you know, it's it's also got these little vents in case water does happen to get in there. Those little vents will help uh, drain any water that's in there. So, But you can access, if something falls down the bottom of it, you can reach down here and access it and pull it out, zip it back up. So anyway, uh, this also has this, uh, this whole thing has this plastic backing. As you can hear, it's pretty thick. So it keeps it sturdy. It's almost like an internal plastic frame. Uh, I'm guessing it's plastic, but anyway, so I like that. Uh, it makes the bag feel solid. It's not uh, real sloppy looking. But one negative thing I will say about this is that this scabbard is not removable. You can't remove this scabbard from this pack. So though you can hide it, you can tuck it up inside it, the bag itself. Um, if you wanted to, the bag to be a little more sleek and a little more low profile, you can't do it with this bag. So that's one negative part of this review that I would say. If you want the ability to remove the scabbard you know, in or out of your bag, then this is not the bag for you. But if that doesn't matter to you, then that's, that's fine. It's a good feature. You can still tuck all sorts of clothes down there, and whatever else you want. And it has a lot of other versatility. But anyway, moving on, let's look at the inside of the bag itself here. As you see, the, the clips here are very similar to the Warhammer. Um, it has the uh, straps going this way and it's got straps going this way. So you can utilize the outside of the bag to store things as well the same way. So you can actually look, these straps go all the way up there. So that's, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty big. You can store a whole lot of stuff in that area. You can put your sleeping bags in here, tents, whatever else you want to carry. So. And all the straps with Everly Stock, they come with this handy dandy little Velcro thing so you can roll up your straps and Velcro them to make them look all nice and, and tidy. So it's pretty cool. You can go all the way up to here and you know have it all just be bunched up like that basically. So I like that feature. It's got this little thing right here. You can put one of your little morale patches on there if you got a morale patch. Anyway, these things go uh, this way. One thing I would say about these is that they are not as long as the uh, the Warhammer straps are. They only go out to out to here. So when, if you see, and you extend it all the way to the end on both sides. I mean, I suppose that's still a pretty good amount further that you can take it out, but it's not nearly as, as long as what the Warhammer was. So you can't hold quite as much, but I mean, that's still a lot. So anyway, so we open this up, we look, we see there's molly all along the sides and the front. And if you look, you can access the backpack from the top through this little rain thing where it can keep the rain out of your bag, which is cool. That's convenient. That's a pretty conventional way to access what the internal uh, components of your bag. Uh, or you can access it another way and open it up 
like that. I think that's really cool. I like having two different ways of checking my bag, uh, getting it in, into my bag. And this right here, you can see everything that's going on. You don't got to dig around from the top and if you're trying to get to something at the bottom. So it saves some time. Also, the inside here has Molly attachments. You can get pouches inside here to organize it. Similarly, how I did, like right there, that's attached to the side there. So if you had big pouches uh, that you want to store stuff in, like a medical kit or something like that, hygiene kit, you can do it on these pouches and these uh, are on this molly here with pouches and the molly is on the inside uh, on the sides here as well so let me pull this out everything out inside of it to show you what it all looks like on the inside completely empty okay so inside this bag there is these little um, pockets here they look like they're made out of some kind of parachute style material which it looks like it's rip stop I'm not really sure you know why they chose to make it out of that but it, I mean it looks fine to me uh, but they also have hydration pouches in here for camelbacks uh, my friend who owns this bag he said that he he bought the, the camelbacks that went for for this bag specifically and they didn't fit they were too big so beware of that um, I would go a size down if you're going to to get the ones that come from Everly Stock. I don't know if they, maybe they've addressed that problem already, but so yeah, like I said, they got the Molly gear. Like I said, you can put all sorts of different stuff in there, and again, you can access it from up top. They got these little clips here that are probably to suspend your um, your hydration pouch. That's what it looks like, and then they also have on the side here. They have this little spot right here for your hose to come out and you can have your camelback hose running in through there and then out through this thing and you can drink it without having to stop you can just drink it right out of your bag another thing you can use that for is headphones so let's say you have some music playing in your headphones and you want to run it out uh, you can have it in your backpack and you know not have it on your person so that's pretty cool so anyway let's go ahead and load it back up here and we'll take another look at it from the outside i'll load it up and spin it around for you guys Okay, so this is the Everly Stock Gunslinger 2. And, all right, my final thoughts on this. What do I think? Uh, would I recommend this? Yes. I, I think it's a cool bag. I think it's, it's nice. Uh, it is different th from the Warhammer. So if you're looking for an inch bag, if you're looking for, uh, by the way, inch stands for I'm never coming home. If you're, if you're looking for a bag that can carry everything plus a kitchen sink, this isn't the bag not the bag for you but if you're looking for a patrol bag if you're looking for a bag that can hold three days worth of supplies if you're looking for a bag that you can have uh, your rifle packed into it and, and securely this is a good bag for you if you're looking for a bag that you know it, you can just go camping with this is a great bag for you uh, I would recommend it for those purposes but if, if you want to have a, a, a rucksack that has amazing versatility and you know you can carry a ton of stuff probably not the best bag for you so anyway this is my review on the Everly Stock Gunslinger 2 if you like the video make sure you hit the like button right there and you also subscribe uh, also feel free to check out my website on the move show.com I have a uh, blog on there a, a store on there uh, I do a weekly podcast and you know uh, you know I got a whole bunch of other material on there so feel free to check it out on the move show.com and, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys watching the video, and thanks again. Uh, and as always, know your rights, assert your rights, and get on the move.